Hey, subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to ring that bell. If you ring that bell, you get all my recipes. I got almost 200 recipes on the channel. A lot of recipes. Wonderful stuff. Anyway, so, you subscribe, you ring that bell, and you get the recipes. Like today's recipe. Awesome. Doing stuffed peppers. Hey, that's a classical dish. Great comfort food. Now, classic stuffed peppers. It's got meat inside, stuffed with meat, and a rice mixture. Now, this channel is not about meat, right? It's about being vegan, or at least almost vegan. And... Lately, I'm, I'm starting to use a little less on the carbs, right? Losing some weight, feeling good, and eating less carbs. Not no carbs, but less carbs. So today's dish I'm going to do without meat, because I want to be at least almost vegan, and without rice. Now... We lose the meat, we lose the rice, we lose a lot of character from this dish. So we have to build character. How do you build character? By building layers of flavor. How do you build layers of flavor? It's in the sauce. Traditionally, stuffed peppers, tomato sauce. Well, we're going to make a tomato sauce, but we're going to make a Creole tomato sauce. A classic Creole sauce. Mmm, sounds good. Creole sauce is one. It's one of my favorite sauces. Shh. Don't tell anybody. Okay, so let's start. Okay, I'm not going to make this sauce a traditional pot like that. No, I'm not going to make it in a pot like that. I'm going to make it in a pan, something a little wider. I'm using a heavy enamel pan, um, which is great, but it's also a pan. It's not a pot. So I have to saute some vegetables, so I want to use a pan. The vegetable I'm going to start sauteing is called the Trilogy. That's the three vegetables used to make Creole food. And it's green pepper, onion, and celery. Have one green pepper, one onion, and two celery stalks. Start with just a bit of olive oil. Hey, two teaspoons, good enough. Ooh, you hear that cooking over there? That's the sound of cooking, beautiful. I'm going to cook these vegetables down. It's going to take about five minutes. Notice the vegetables are nicely diced, about a quarter of an inch diced. Hey, I don't want the vegetables to be too small. They just kind of uh, disintegrates into the sauce. I don't want that. I want them to, to be seen in the sauce. But I also don't want it to be too big, because I want it to be part of the sauce. So about a quarter of an inch diced, a little smaller, okay. But I don't want to go too much bigger than a quarter of an inch diced. Take out your ruler, measure it. Awesome. Hey, while I'm making the sauce, let me show you what I'm going to use for the filling. I have here beautiful bell peppers, okay? I have three of them. And they're a little too big. So what I want to do is I want to cut the top third off. Okay, we just cut this. Don't cut all the way through. Just cut just through the skin. Then it comes out with all the seeds. You take out the, the white membrane inside. And you got a nice pepper cup. Hey, why cut the top third off of the peppers so it fits nice in the pan? Look at that. Beautiful. Okay. Let's get back to our trilogy. Boy, it smells delicious. Okay. Next, I'm going to add four cloves of chopped garlic. And I chopped this up pretty fine. So I want that nice spicy garlic flavor. I'm also going to add two teaspoons of Creole seasoning. That's Creole seasoning. And a teaspoon and a half of Italian seasoning. And you see that? The pepper flakes over there? I use about an eighth of a teaspoon. You can use a little more if you want it spicier. Use a little less if you don't want it too spicy. Starting to smell good. I'm going to put in about half a teaspoon of black pepper, freshly ground black pepper.
about a half a teaspoon of salt. Then I'm going to add about a cup of white wine. Whew, that's nice. Hey, don't get crazy with the wine. This is a uh, sort of home. That's wonderful. It's fine. This is going to have a lot of flavor. And you just don't need to have that outstanding wine because all the flavor it has, uh, you're not going to taste the wine too much. It's just to get all the brown bits off the bottom of the pan and to kind of uh, deglaze all the vegetables and kind of get that flavor going and give you a little bit of acid in there. Fantastic. Hey, I didn't know the camera was rolling. Okay, see everything kind of deglazing. And you want to reduce this till it's almost dry. So keep it going. Keep it at a simmer. Okay, now you see it's still got some water in it. Actually, that's wine. It's got some wine in it, but it's not. A lot of it has evaporated, and it's pretty dry. Okay. And I have one 28-ounce can of crushed tomatoes. It's good. Got some nice spice to it. Woo! Tastes delicious. Needs a little salt. And another half a teaspoon. Very nice. Okay. I gotta taste it again. That's delicious. Okay. Just cover it up. Move it aside. Okay, now it's time to make that filling. We'll get used for the filling. We're going to start with some peppers and onions. Hey, remember the pepper we cut the top third off the pepper? That top third that we cut off, we're going to chop that up really small. And we're going to take about a half an onion and chop that up really small. Uh, you can put this in your uh, food processor if you want. Just pulse it. Tock, 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 like that. And then you pulse it until it's nice and small and uh, use that. This is what it looks like. You see that? Beautiful. Nice and small. Now we get a small fry pan. Put about two teaspoons of olive oil in there. And then throw that onion and pepper in there. While that's cooking, we're going to add half a teaspoon of salt and about a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Ooh, wonderful. Hey, you know what? Sometimes I get so excited when I cook, I actually miss an ingredient. That's terrible. This is an important ingredient I missed. I missed it. Hey, I apologize, but this is an important ingredient. You can't do without it. Where's your share sauce? I didn't add the Worcestershire sauce to the sauce, the Creole sauce. You gotta do that. Just one teaspoon Worcestershire sauce, that's all you need. But, here's the problem. This is not vegan. There's some anchovies in Worcestershire sauce. Hey, maybe that's why I left it out. But, you can buy vegan Worcestershire sauce. Or, you can use a little bit of soy sauce, or tamari, whatever you like. One teaspoon is all you need. But don't forget that ingredient. That's the important ingredient. Hey, I apologize for that. Let's move on. Now you want to take some nice firm tofu and mash it up like that. Beautiful. We take that cooked peppers and onions
Put it right in there. Hey, I'm keeping it simple, but you can make it as uh, complicated as you want. You can add some uh, spinach, you can add some broccoli, you can add some kale, you can add anything. Just make sure it's cooked before you put it in because it's not going to really have a chance to cook inside the uh, pepper. So um, everything should be cooked in the uh, stuffing. I'm keeping it simple though. You can do whatever you like. Okay. Don't forget, give it a little taste. Needs a little salt. This much, much mixture is going to fill up about three peppers. If you start putting like spinach and stuff like that in the mixture, hey, you can fill up four peppers. Fill it right to the top. Check that out. Pretty nice. Now we got this nice big pot of sauce. Ooh, look at that. That looks beautiful. And I spoon the sauce right over the top like that. Very nice. We need some extra sauce. So I'll put some on the sides as well. Hey, it kind of fits perfectly. Look at that. Beautiful. I preheated my oven. 350 degrees. I put this inside. I'm going to cook that for one hour, because that's about how long it's going to take me to clean up this kitchen. What a mess. What a disaster. Got to clean this kitchen up. Anyway, it's going to take about an hour in the oven. I'll check it after an hour. Listen, the stuffing's finished. The stuffing's cooked. It's done. It's delicious. What has to cook is those peppers. And if they're not cooked all the way, it's not right. They've got to be soft. They've got to be tender. They have to, you have to be able to eat them. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to cook that for an hour. And then we're going to check it. It's going to be good. It's going to be delicious. Okay. I'll see you in an hour. i got to clean this place up. I'm not looking forward to it, but i got to do it. Okay. All right. It's been an hour. You know how I know it's been an hour? Because I cleaned the kitchen. <laughs> I took a 15-minute nap. All right. It's been an hour. That's nice. Ooh, look at that. You see the top kind of turn into a glaze? And there's nice sauce in the bottom. Now, now this is what you do. You take a little fork and you prick, pardon the exp expression, you prick the side a little bit. Make sure it's like tender. Oh yeah, that's nice and tender. Okay, it looks beautiful. I gotta serve it in kind of like a bowl kind of situation here. I have this nice little bowl here. Very carefully. I want to take one out. I put that in a bowl like that. I take some of the sauce. Just put it on top like that. Woo! Let it drip over the sides a little bit. That's terrific. Holy mackerel, it looks good. Not a difficult dish to do at all. Very nice. Smells terrific. Hey, this is a classic dish that we just modernized and made it low carb. We made it vegan. If you use the Worcestershire sauce, uh, almost vegan. And don't forget to add the Worcestershire sauce. Sorry about that. Hey, that's my phone. I gotta go. I'll catch you later. Hey, if you like this video, check out my meatball recipe. It's vegan and delicious. Just like me. Okay, catch you later.